Well, for a bit more context about all this, let's bring in our international affairs editor, uh, Douglas Herbert. Doug, the World Bank says that econ Lebanon's economic crisis is among the worst in modern history. It's a pretty strong warning there. Yeah, and they're actually more specific. They're saying it's probably in the top 10, maybe even the top three of the worst economic crises since the, you have to go back to the 19th century, to, just to give you a sense. Uh, more than half of the population is living below the poverty line. The economy last year shrank by 20 percent, and it is on course, according to the World Bank, to shrink by almost 10 percent this year. Things are not getting better. They're, they're staying the same or getting worse. Uh, Usually you see these types of uh, dire apocalyptic economic uh, sort of variables in times of war or conflict. You, you'd have to go back to the Lebanon Civil War from 75 to 90 to see anything. Look, I made a quick chart of just some of the things that are adding up to this perfect storm, not to be very pessimistic in this, in this headline, but bad to worse, too. There's no sign that there's any concerted effort to, to, to bring Lebanon back into, whip it back into shape. Crippling debt. Plummeting currency. The currency has fallen by about 40 percent this year. The, the Lebanese lira used to be a very strong currency. It was pegged to the U.S. dollar in the late 1990s, which made it very strong, but it also required a lot of dollars to be sucked into the economy. Those dollars aren't coming in anymore. You have hyperinflation over 100 percent this year. That's a big word. What does it mean? It means people can't afford their food anymore. The food has gone four or five times uh, in the past year its, its, its previous price. Uh, medicine, forget it. If you go to a pharmacy, you're not likely to find the medicines you you need or looking for, let alone be able to afford them. Banking crisis, Lebanon used to be known as a banking capital of the Mideast, a gem of the uh, financial crown in the Mideast. Uh, it's absolutely dire there right now, and it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. The entrenched corruption just adds to the disarray and, the, and this sense of not being able to actually get a grip on any of these problems, because you have to have a concerted policy and tackle them all at the same time. But yeah, rampant poverty where you once had quite a few, uh, a lot of success stories and a big middle class. People who were rich before are now middle class. People who were middle class before are now poor.